bucks are hitting scrapes hard. We're doing something a little different tonight. As you can tell, the road's not too far away. But tonight we're hanging out of a saddle, as you guys can see. We're in a totally new spot. Um, this is a this is a place that I've had access to for quite a, a long time. Um, and there's always bucks here, but they never live here. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. The only reason I'm here is because yesterday it was 70 degrees and it rained all day long, all night long. Um, we got like over a quarter inch rain overnight. So it washed everything away. Down here to my left, there's about five or six scrapes in like a 10 yard radius. And there's been a real big nine pointer hitting that these series of scrapes every single night for the last three nights. I've had a camera down here for three nights. I've had three different shooters, seven different bucks total. Um, two borderline, but three for sure shooters using this area or this area right off back here behind me. There's another scrape over here. So with the rain all day yesterday, it washed all the scent out of these scrapes. Anything that, any, it, this, the real big nine pointer came back about two in the morning last night and he freshened up this one scrape, but it rained this morning. So anything else has been washed out and he's hit this scrape three nights in a row consistently. So what I did when I walked up in here this tonight, I spread a whole bunch of Wyoming County whitetails. I put out a, just pretty much bomb this whole area. I used some buck urine and I did use some doe and heat urine because from what I can tell, this buck is looking for that first receptive doe. So if there's any chance at all that I'm gonna kill him, I need to get him over here earlier. Um, he's unfortunately crossing the road and not living on this property. Um, the closest I had him to daylight so far has been one hour after dark. So I think he just happened to be in the area close by um, that night and come down here first, but he's checked this, these series of scrapes every single night, so. With yesterday being 70 degrees, today's being four, the high was 48 degrees. I'm hoping to cool weather. The rain last night and the, the big front that we got coming in Monday is gonna help try to get these deer on their feet and they should be moving tonight, I'm hoping. But we'll see. Two out of the three bucks are coming out of this creek bottom here. To my east, we have a northwest wind that's just cutting it sideways just a little bit. If anything comes up through these hardwoods, um, it may give me an issue, but it seems like 90% of the buck sign is going to be right here at 10 yards on this trail. There's a ATV trail right here that all these deer are using, so I'm going to shut up, kick back, and uh, enjoy tonight's set, so stay tuned. If you guys haven't, please go down, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. Let's build this channel. A lot of people have subscribed over the last couple videos, so keep it up. I really, really appreciate it.
believe what just happened. That doe that I just videoed, she come from across the road. She had a big buck with her. I seen him come running down throughout the field behind me here. You kind of see the opening right there. I'll show you what buck it is. It's not the really big buck that's in here. But he's definitely a shooter. This buck right here. I don't know why you guys be able to see that. Just come running down the field across the road with it with that doe that just came here like 10 yards. Well they got to the road and a car came down the road and just laid on the horn. The doe came across and he turned back. And that was one of the bucks that come out of the creek bottom the other night. But apparently he's across the road too. I honestly can't believe that just happened. I don't know what the hell I gotta do to kill a freaking buck. A decent buck. But it's getting pretty frustrating, especially when stupid crap like that happens.
All right, so we're obviously we're back at the truck. Um, I couldn't do a closing interview because I had deer all around me, and I had to wait like I don't know, almost 20 minutes after dark, just to get out of the tree stand. Um, as you guys seen, that little uh, six or seven pointer or whatever it was came in last light. He came in from my right, and then he kind of worked to the left of me out in front, and uh, I passed him up at like 10 yards. And then he kind of went to my left, made a scrape, and then he kind of milled around for a while, and I had to wait so I didn't spook him. But I think I know, I want to address kind of what happened with the uh, the big buck in the doe situation crying crossing the road. Uh, as much as a heartbreak as that is, I think I figured out exactly what happened. Uh, I'm pretty sure that buck and that doe were bumped, um, and they come flying down the hill. Well, the buck stopped about 50 yards short of the road. The doe flew past them, and she went straight across the road. And as she went across the road, a car stopped and laid on the horn, and he turned around, and he went right back up the hill where he come from. I tried to catch a little audio of this, um, but right behind me up on the ridge where these uh, two deer come from, the buck and the doe, couple coyotes started howling. I don't know if I got any audio footage or of it or not, but it was just before I was starting to get get ready to get down. And uh, so I think a couple coyotes moved into them, bumped them deer up, and uh, they come flying down the hill to cross the road. And uh, obviously the buck stopping short, he turned around, went back, and the doe, she crossed right away. She never even stopped. Um, and then she ended up coming down like 10 yards away from me. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm not sure exactly. Um, he definitely wasn't chasing her. Uh, he was actually the first deer out into the field when they were coming down through. So he wasn't chasing her. It wasn't no rut activity. I kind of figured right off the get-go that they got bumped by something. Um, either somebody going on a hike across the road, because I know they like to do that, or uh, or coyotes. Uh, and the coyotes kind of make sense now since I heard them right up on the same ridge that the uh, the deer come from. So... Just want to address that situation and kind of let you guys know what happened right there. I know I couldn't get even on video. It happened within seconds, and I was freaking out because there's a 130-inch 8-pointer running at me. Um, but I showed you guys a picture of what that buck looks like, and uh, there's just nothing I could do about it. So I want to address that, let you guys know exactly what happened, and uh, do a closing interview. So thanks for watching. We're going to be back at it in the morning. I'm not sure where we're going to go. i got to look at the wind and stuff. And I believe we got some rain moving in at some point in time tomorrow. So, gotta look at the weather, look at the wind, and uh, we'll see you guys in a tree stand bright and early in the morning. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, please go, please, please go down and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.